In this lesson, we're investigating and making observations about the structures of different types of plants. Check out this clip of giant sequoia trees. Now think about the trees in your neighborhood. Do you know the name of any tree parts? How are trees similar to other plants you've seen? How are trees different from other plants you've seen? In this activity, you'll be observing the parts of a plant. To investigate the parts of a plant, you'll need a plant, a hand lens, crayons, and a flashlight. Before we start, make a prediction. How are parts of a plant different? Share your prediction with your small group, then select Continue. First, choose three different plant parts to observe. In this video, we're going to observe the stem, the leaf, and the roots. Before handling the plants, be sure you're wearing gloves. Click on the stem cell in the data table to observe the plant stem. What is the color and shape of the stem? Write the word stem in the left column of your notebook and draw a picture of the stem below the word. When you've finished, click Continue. What does the stem feel like? Is it bumpy or smooth? The stem feels smooth. When you shine the flashlight on the stem, does the light go through it? What else do you notice about the stem? Write your observations of the stem in the right column of the data table. If you need to see the stem again, select Replay. When you've finished writing your observations, select Next. Click on the leaf cell in the data table to observe the plant leaf. What is the color and shape of the leaf? Write the word leaf in the left column of your notebook and draw a picture of the leaf below the word. When you're finished, click Continue. What does the leaf feel like? Is it rough or smooth? The leaf feels smooth. When you shine the flashlight on the leaf, does the light go through it? What else do you notice about the leaf? Write your observations of the leaf in the right column of the data table. If you need to see the leaf again, select Replay. When you've finished writing your observations, select Next. Click on the Roots cell in the data table to observe the plant roots. What is the color and shape of the roots? Write the word roots in the left column of your notebook and draw a picture of the roots below the word. When you're finished, click Continue. What do the roots feel like? Are they stiff or do they bend? The roots bend. When you shine the flashlight on the roots, does the light go through them? What else do you notice about the roots? Write your observations of the roots in the right column of the data table. If you need to see the roots again, select Replay. When you've finished writing your observations, select Next. So far in this lesson, you've looked at pictures of trees and observed the different parts of a plant. Next, you'll listen to a story about a boy named Marco who visits a botanical garden. A botanical garden is kind of like a museum for plants. You can see all sorts of different plants and flowers on display at a botanical garden. Follow your teacher's instructions. To begin the story, plant parts around the world, select Listen. To skip the story and move on, select Continue. Marco and Dad visit the botanical garden. 
Tall sunflowers wave above them. Each yellow flower is filled with hundreds of crunchy seeds. Near the ground, orange tiger lilies grow above short plants. Pale pink roses grow from thorny stems. Each of these flowers looks so different, Marco tells Dad as he sketches the flowers in his art book. But they have things that are the same, too. They all have petals, leaves, and stems. Marco labels each part in his book. And even though we can't see them, plants also have roots under the ground, too, he tells Dad. Marco and Dad move to the rainforest area. Marco points to the rainbow eucalyptus trunk. It looks like it has been painted in stripes of green, yellow, red, and orange, he says. Look at these huge leaves. Dad points to the giant taro. They're about six feet long. That's as tall as I am. Marco draws a taro plant with the leaves as big as Dad, then draws a picture of the biggest seed he has ever seen. It is a pile of coconuts under a tall palm tree. Further down the path, they find the desert area. These plants have small skinny leaves, Marco says, pointing to a row of cacti. Some people don't know, but the needles or spines on a cactus are actually leaves. Shiny red balls grow on top of one cactus. These are fruit, Marco says after reading the sign. They are called prickly pears. Birds, deer, and rats eat this fruit. People make jam out of it, too. On their way to the gate, Marco and Dad stop by the pond. Floating lily pads cover the water. Skinny cattails wave above the water's edge. We'll see you next time. Marco and Dad wave their goodbyes to the plants in the beautiful botanical garden. Next, use what you've learned from the story and your observations during the investigation to complete the rest of the activity.